every morning it's a dance to get between these two. Matt's still in bed. But like going to the fridge and getting coffee, I have to uh, yeah, do this number. <laughs> oh, guys. She's so cute. Boop. Y'all already went outside today. Watch this again. It was mildewy anyway. Yeah. Oh, gross. But uh, we're making progress at least. Look at those little guys! What up, dudes? Dudes? Look at this little neck. Look! Whoa. What? Whoops, be Mr. Zulu. <laughs> if anybody lives in Texas, this is not a regular dirt. I don't know if you can see it, like a green yellow film over everything and it's pollen. This is why people in this area have such bad allergies because that shit is flying around everywhere. You'll see cars that are covered with it, it's crazy. You wanna do the walkthrough? Yeah. I mean, everything's gone. Yeah, <laughs> all of it. This is it, we're officially gonna be out of this house right now. Yeah, well as soon as we walk out of here, but yeah. You guys wanna walk out with us? <laughs> the acoustics are amazing! <laughs> well, I got memories in this house. Uh, the only thing is I can't remember most of them. That's fine. What's that even mean? What are you pointing at? Your stomach. Aww. So this is it guys. We are done with this house. Now we're gonna go and see about this couch going to his sister and then we're going to Austin because um, Veg Fest is happening in Austin. It's every year the Veg Fest. You know, that's it. Go get some good food and possibly see some people that we know. I don't know. Maybe? Hopefully? So let's go get this couch taken care of and get some coffee. That's so bad. So I thought we could take this time to answer a few questions that we have gotten um, about the RV. I'm gonna pick the first one. Are you planning on traveling full time or staying mostly in one place? A, a mix? <laughs> I guess a mix of the two, really. I like half a year out, half a year in kind of thing. So, and the idea is I always come back here because this is where I, I work. I have my, my business here uh, that I work with. And so, um, but then of course I'm wanting to work on the road as well. And there's like a whole plan around that. So, but yeah. always zigzagging our way back here. Right. Where would we go? So, like California, back here. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma. Back here, that kind of thing. So, who knows? Florida. Florida. Back here. It's the first um, We're going to probably travel for a few weeks and then be back for a few weeks. But the goal is to travel. We don't want to just have the RV and just stay in the same spot. Too scared to move anywhere. So, right, which yeah. that's where I'm at right now. What? So you want to pick another one? What about your animals? I don't know if y'all seen already. We have two animals in here right now. Uh, we have Buzz and Brady. Uh, I mean, they seem to be enjoying it. We have this this pen that's, I mean, it's a pretty good size pen. I mean, it's it's way bigger than our house, of course. I mean, this is massive. And so they can run anywhere they want to out there. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, we just let them run in the yard too. It's uh, seven acres out here. Good amount of land for them. They're getting more exercise than they ever have, which is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have two cats. Um, we have Burgundy, uh, which we brought over here first. And she acclimated really well. She uh, lives under our, our our trailer. I'm pretty sure we're on uh, on a porch that's nearby. Uh, we feed her in both places as well. Uh, we have water around. I mean, she's good. Uh, she follows. She loves it outside. She follows everybody around. If someone's out there, she just follows, and that's it. And Even she'll... whenever we were at the other house, like she always wanted outside. Now she's like super happy, just running around and she's living good. life. You know, living the dream. Or Sophie. <laughs> So Sophie, so we, we brought over uh, the day before we had to move out, which today is actually the day that we moved out. Um, and so we brought her over late at night. Actually, my dad uh, helped me with that. He, he brought her over, had boxes around, because uh, you know she likes getting boxes. There's a barn out there. Cat traps. Yeah, little cat traps. <laughs> and so there's plenty of places for her to stay, but we don't see her much at all. She's very elusive. And we're wondering how that's gonna go. So we're working that one out and we'll see. Basically Matt's parents here have a cat sanctuary. When I was a kid we had, <laughs> I mean 
mean, no joke, we had 16 cats. Cats kind of find their way over here, and they feed them in two or three spots around the house. So there's always cat food out. And I like how I have a cat built. Oh. <laughs> while all of this is going on. Cats. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And so they've, they've always kind of taken in stray cats. They've always had tons of cats around. So it's definitely a safe area for them. And I'm, I'm glad that we... We had originally thought we were going to have to rehome both of them, but we have made it work to where they're with us too. They just can't fit in the RV itself. Yeah, we'll, we'll answer some more questions later, but if you guys have any other RV related questions, leave them below. I've got a list on my phone that we're going to answer as we go, uh, but right now, you ready to go? I want to go to Veg Fest. Veg Fest. Let's go have some food. Food. Fanny pack on. Oh, Veg Fest is done. Veg Fest was fun. Uh, I cracked myself up. What do you think? Well, it wasn't a lot of sun. That's why I love it. I didn't, I didn't see anybody wearing a gun. This one. <laughs> anyway, um, it was it was a lot of fun, and we ate all of the food. All of it. It was all delicious. So we got to. There's this food truck called Arlo's in Austin. It's a all vegan food truck and they're known for their uh, bacon cheeseburger. And the bacon is a tempeh bacon, so it's a uh, wheat gluten protein and it's basically smoked and, and fried and crispy. I mean, it's just got the bacony flavor, which is the smoky, salty flavor. And then the patty, I don't know what was in the patty. It's lentils and a bunch of spices. It was delicious and it was grilled. Um, the bun had butter on it. It was grilled and there was some kind of mayo, uh, mustard, and then the cheese, which I think they make their own cheese. I don't know, it was really good. What else did we get? We got some cabbage and threw some Indian spices. I'm not sure what they were. Oh kind of yeah, curry, what were maybe. those called? Uh, Already for, pakori? Yeah. Pakori. Pakora. Pakora? Pakora. Um, it's fried cabbage balls. It's like cabbage, and then it's rolled in a chickpea flour batter and fried. Deep Pretty fried. good. And it was spicy. good and spicy. Um, we also had mac and cheese. It tasted like chili mac, mac and cheese. It tasted like chili mac. That was really good. That's good. Um, we had chocolate chip cookie and a peach peach cream peach cream pastry peach puff, cream like the flaky cream, yeah. stuff with the cream and the peach in the middle. It was good. Very sticky. Um, I keep repeating everything you say. I'm sorry. And then he had a beer. I had a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of good vendors. Um, it's just really cool to see how many plant-based restaurants and um, people. I guess people so cool about uh, the vegan lifestyles. Everybody has their own reason for eating vegan foods and choosing vegan foods. Even if you're not 100% vegan, everybody's got a reason for moving towards that lifestyle. I'm a huge advocate of doing every little bit that you can to make a difference, whether it's for your own health, for the environment, or for the animals. So it's cool to just get everybody's story. We saw a few friends there, and it was a good time. We're heading back. There's apparently some more storms tonight, so that is neat. That is neat. A question for you RVers that are watching this. Um, do you guys ever experience terrible storms? And if so, do you have any tips on surviving storms in an RV? <laughs> Because I, I have this picture of us just falling over or, I don't know, something going terribly wrong. I just feel like we're so vulnerable and, like, wobbly as is. Wouldn't just a tiny bit of wind just plop you over? Or lightning? I don't know. Is lightning, it, lightning is not going to plop us over. Is the main tip just to run? Is that the tip? Just to drive away? So let me know your tips on RVing in storms. Last task before we get to rest today. Um, we're emptying the gray water. I haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You wanna teach me through? Sure. So. We're probably gonna have all these people telling us that we're doing it wrong too. Probably, that's fine. That's fine. You see that thing right there? This, yes. Yeah, go ahead and pick that up. Just that one end, really. Yep. All right, you see that thing over there? No. <laughs> this thing down here. Not oh. this thing. <laughs> Not that thing. This thing, But this okay. guy right over here. Yep. So go ahead and unscrew that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now you're gonna just, yep, make sure it fits on. This part is a little difficult. Come on. Almost. There it is. Okay. All right, you're gonna extend it. This guy right here. 
Yeah, do it in portions. Put it over here? Because uh, it needs to go down. So extend it all the way and then start walking it this way. Bergy. Excuse me, kitty. Watch out. Down over here. Right here? Yeah, try to angle that side down, which you're already doing, so. All right. So that's your black right there. This? That's your black. Oh, gray. Gray. Um, and then I twist it? Nope, just pull. Pull and just yeah. leave it open? Yeah, leave it open. And you'll hear it. We gotta make sure it's going? Nah, it's going. <laughs> it? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. So this is where we dump our gray. And it's gray. For now. A little doggy pin. Look at her clothes. Dang, it's a lot of water. That's that's it. That's it. And I think just, we're doing uh, it you reverse right. Reverse the process and put it up. I think it's still going. Um, it's, it's gonna go for about another minute or so. Yeah. All right. So last question we're gonna answer for the night in this weird lighting. What are you most excited about and what do you anticipate to be the greatest challenges? Both is washing dishes for me. The greatest thing or like the what most, most excited, most excited about? about? The first trip, the first big trip is what I'm excited about. I want to go somewhere, I want to drive there. I want to hopefully not crash into anything, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and then experience, uh, well, you know, Disney World. That's where we're going first, you guys. Um, our, first, well yeah. our first big trip, we haven't really officially announced it yet. First big trip. It's going to be Orlando in the fall, hopefully, and we're going to go to Disney World because we went last year and I want to go back. It's all about the traveling. Yeah. That's what it's about. I mean, I guess so. this goes along with the traveling, um, the adventure, and just being with this guy uh, I think you missed it. It's Brady, right? my leg. Being with this guy more. More adventures with him. Look at my leg. Look at, look at this guy. What are you doing? This is what we're walking around in the trailer all the time. What do you anticipate to be the greatest challenge? Also driving to that location. Like I said, I'm uh, scared of some things, you know. We should be okay. I don't, I don't yeah. foresee any real issues once we really get the hang of this thing. <clears throat> but eventually, yeah, there's going to be that, that first long distance, you know, kind of uncertainty mm -hmm. that we have. And yeah, y'all can say yeah, it's going to be okay, you're going to have fun, you know, all you want. Which, I mean, I really do appreciate, but at the same time, it's like, until you experience it, it's, that feeling's not going to go away. We just have to do it. My biggest fear is the actual traveling to places with this trailer behind us. Bringing the trailer home, I was a, I was a wreck. I was yeah. a mess. Um, I was so worried and anxious, and we did make it home, but I don't feel like that was enough experience for us to have it down and to be at ease the next time we bring it out. Like I said, we're gonna be bringing you guys along so you guys are gonna be there for our first big trip uh, when we do drive to San Antonio in a few weeks. That's gonna be the biggest challenge. I think once we get over that, it's gonna be awesome. Oh uh, yeah. Non-stop. We're coming to you. Sledding is better this way. Oh, well, this is my best side anyways. But we're gonna go ahead and conclude the vlog here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure, thumbs up, I always ask that. It definitely helps us to see what you guys like to see on the channel. Comment below and subscribe if you're new. We are <laughs> the Wondering Wyatts. Oh, really? Not wondering. Wonder. We yeah, do wonder. We wonder. we wonder about a lot of oh, things, especially wander. with this lifestyle. Wandering Wyatts. That's why I say hashtag Wandering Wyatts, because those will be our hashtags for the RV life. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Very soon.